everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fabulous day. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking to you about the skincare I've been using recently. I've been wanting to tell you, but I wanted to test it out uh, longer. So I know I've been hinting at a skincare video for a while. And the reason why I haven't done like a full comprehensive skincare video yet is because I wanted to try out more things. I was really doing the same routine for a while and I have all this skincare so I wanted to test some new things out before I gave you guys like my full thoughts. And um, what I'm talking about today is uh, the full collection by Fleur and B. So they sent this to me like two months ago maybe. I put a little like spoiler in my Instagram stories when I received the box. So they sent this to me with like no obligations to post about it or anything, um, but I chose to film this video and work with them and review these products because I actually like them and get this, all of the items are under $30, they're all clean beauty, they're vegan, they're good for the environment and they all give back. So they have four products in their line and I have all of them and I've been using exclusively these items for the past few weeks. I haven't even done any like face masks or anything like that. So I use them every day besides one night I was really bad and I didn't wash my face and I got a little breakout so bad, <laughs> always wash your face. I was, I think I used like just like a sheet, or not a sheet mask, like one of the face wipes that night, but still not enough. But So I think I've got a pretty good idea of all the products so I will go through all of them. I have their website pulled up and of course I will link their website down below. Um, and before I forget, I just want to remind you all that I do have several giveaways going on right now. Three actually, and those will all be linked down below as well. So I just want to tell you a little bit more about the brand um, before I talk about each individual product. So it says natural skincare under $30, good for you and good for the planet. It says clean skincare made the right way. Natural ingredients, plant powered, 100% vegan goodness, and never any nasties like parabens, sulfates, and artificial fragrances is dermatologist tested, carefully formulated to work gently yet effectively on all skin types, real ingredients, real results, and it's cruelty free. Um, proudly upholding the international standards set by Leafy Bunny and never tested on animals ever. You know, that's really important to me, so that is awesome. So I have here, um, I have the toner, the Rose and Shine Refreshing Rose Water Toner. And this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, and then I have the um, Nectar of the Sea Rejuvenating Vitamin C Serum, the Creme de la Creme Moisturizing Face Cream, and the Eyes Eyes Baby Anti-Aging Eye uh, Treatment Eye Cream. So cute names. So let's start with the toner. So I'm going to talk about them in the order that I use them. So I just use like my normal cleansers that I always use. I have like a gentle cleanser I use most days and then I exfoliate twice a week. So after I get out of the shower or wash my face, I then spray my face with the Rose and Shine Refreshing Water Toner. So I will read to you what the packaging says. Um, so it says natural ingredients, no nasty toxins, naturally effective. Give your skin the ultimate refreshment with our 100% natural rose water toner. It will remove dirt and oil while minimizing the appearance of pores. Cruelty free, no nasty toxin, and 1% of profits go to charity. And directions after cleansing to pretend your face for a morning and nightly refresh. Use before serum or moisturizer. Uh, and this is two fluid ounces. And I really like this. And since there's no artificial fragrances, it's just made of like real roses. It doesn't smell very strong. I know some people are sensitive to that. Um, I really like the sprayer. I spray on my face, my chest, like all over. Because um, it is important to treat both your face, your neck, and your decollete, your chest. So that is what I do twice a day. Um, and I really have been liking this. So let's see if there's any information on the website and I'll get the price for you. This is $18 for two fluid ounces. And they say the soothing scent helps promote relaxation, um, hydrates skin, creates a plumper, more refreshed face, temporary, temporarily tightens pores, minimizing their appearance. So the ingredients, it has rose flower oil, a powerful hydrating antioxidant that has been used for thousands of years to help promote healthy glowing skin and distilled water, which helps cleanse and rid the, rid the skin of dirt and other ingredients. So those are the only two ingredients, you guys. So I've been really enjoying this. I spritz this all over twice a day, like they say. See if I can like show you the mister now. Um, I don't wanna waste too much of this. It's like super fine. I don't even know if you guys could see that. Could you? And like I can barely smell, like it has a nice light rose scent, but it's not overpowering. I think most people are more irritated by like the artificial rose smell, you know what I mean? 
But yeah, so I have been enjoying this. It is very refreshing and yeah, feels nice. So then, um, once that is on my skin and a little bit dry, I use the Nectar of the Sea Rejuvenating Vitamin C Serum. And here is the packaging. I will read to you what is on it. So it comes with a dropper. And it's cruelty free, no nasty toxin. And again, 1% goes to charity. So it says directions after cleansing, apply two to three drops on fingertips and smooth onto face, avoiding the eye area. Use in the morning and at night before your moisturizer. And want me to last longer, store me in the fridge. And we get one fluid ounce. So I haven't put it in the fridge, but I've been using it every night. I would love to get one of those skincare fridges for my bathroom. That would be great. Um, but definitely put it in the fridge. Um, so it says two, three drops. I just use two drops. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. And I use it on my face, my neck, and my chest. Like I have said already. And you can see I've already used like a decent amount. I have been using this. So it has a dropper. So yeah, just two drops does the trick. Um, and this one doesn't like smell amazing or anything, but that's good. That means they're not adding in like all those artificial like scents or any essential oils. I've noticed like some th vitamin C products, I think they want it to smell more like citrusy. <laughs> I've noticed in my experience and I've been loving vitamin C. You guys have, you know, I was, have been using like besides up until the point I started using this routine, the vitamin C like CEO oil by Sunday Riley. Like I just love vitamin C and I think this is a good product. So let's get the price of this. Um, so this one's definitely like a little bit more drying than the oil, but I mean, it's a serum. It's not an oil base and oil bases definitely um, provide more hydration, but I think this is effective. So this is $28 for one fluid ounce. And if you don't know the benefits of vitamin C, I'll just uh, go over it really quick. So it reduces the appearance of dark spots, makes your skin tone appear more even, smoother, smoother and brighter, which I think for me, um, definitely the biggest benefit of vitamin C is like helping with texture and smoothing the skin. Like that's the biggest benefit I've seen and I just freaking love vitamin C. My skin loves it. Uh, it softens the appearance of fine lines, keeps you looking youthful, refreshed, and glowing. And it uses 15% of vitamin C. Um, it uses sodium ascorbyl phosphate. And so here are the full list of ingredients. There's vitamin C, obviously, that uh, evens the skin tone and gives your skin that glow. Vitamin E helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Ferulic acid is a natural antioxidant when combined with vitamin C and E has a compounding anti-aging effect. Organic aloe vera forms a thin protective layer to lock in moisture. And organic jojoba is a natural moisturizer that softens and conditions the skin. And clary sage can help eliminate overly dry or overly oily skin. So yeah, that is everything. I love this stuff. Um, it works well. I, it, like I said, it's not as moisturizing as other products I've used, but it definitely does the job in the vitamin C. I can tell it's making my skin feel very smooth. So I let that absorb for a few minutes or like a minute at least. And then I use the facial cream. So this is the creme de la cream moisturizing face cream. And it says on the back again, cruelty free, no nasty toxin and what, no nasty tox, no nasty toxins, geez. And 1% goes to charity and there's 1.5 ounces in here. And it says for directions, after cleansing, generously massage onto face and neck for instantly delectable soft skin. Treat yourself in the morning and at night. And here is what it looks like on the inside. So I've definitely put a good dip in here. So I use this again, my face, my neck, my decollete. And there it is on the skin. So I do like this. I've been using it day and night uh, like with everything. I don't know, I'm very repetitive, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not my like favorite moisturizer ever, but it definitely does um, moisturize and it's you can tell it's like made with all good ingredients. So let's see what's actually in here. So this is $24 for the 1.5 ounces. Uh, and it says the benefits of this, moisturizes and hydrates the skin, creates a protective barrier to retain moisture, helps protect the skin from environmental stressors, and softens the appearance of thin or of fine lines. And in here we have organic aloe vera, which forms a thin protective layer to lock in moisture. Glycerin, a plant-based powerhouse that attracts and retains moisture. Vitamin C, um, evens the skin tone and gives your skin that glow. Vitamin E reduces the appearance of wrinkles and discoloration. Vitamin B3, a natural anti-aging ingredient that helps smooth the skin. And coenzyme Q10, an antioxidant that helps protect from environmental stressors. So I do like this and I feel like this is great like before doing makeup. I feel like um, using this whole routine, all of the, I've been trying different foundations and stuff, everything 
goes well with this um, routine. So it definitely does create a good barrier. Um, I do like it. It's not like my all time favorite in the world. It is moisturizing, but it's not like overly like it doesn't like it absorbs fully and it doesn't leave, you can't like feel it after you don't like look oily or anything like that. So yeah, that is the creme de la creme. <laughs> and then last and maybe one of my, my favorites in this collection is the Eyes Eyes Baby Anti-Aging Eye Cream. And this you get 0.6 ounces and it says put a small amount of cream on your fingertip and gently massage onto the area around the eyes. And I actually learned from them you're supposed to use like your ring finger because it's I guess like has a least amount of strength so it does like and then just tap on your eyes. I always do the tapping motion. Don't rob. Your eye area is so delicate. But I've been really loving this stuff and I think this will last forever. Like this has become my favorite eye cream. Uh, it has like a very light lavender scent, but I've been using this every day and there's like barely a dip in it and I feel like a little bit goes a long way. It's like really thick and like just, it makes my under eyes feel so moisturized and nice and I swear like my fine lines are definitely still there, but it seems like they're improved a little bit. Like out of everything, yeah, this has gotta be my favorite product. Like if I only had to get one or keep one, I would keep the eye cream. Like I've heard someone recently talk about how like you don't need eye cream because you use your regular moisturizer, but for me I want something different in my eye cream than my moisturizer. Like I like a little bit of a thicker moisturizer for my eyes compared to my face. Like so I don't get that whole new claim that's going around the skincare world. I guess you could just use your moisturizer for your eye cream, but I think this just is a little bit more special for your eyes. I really like it. Eye cream is $22 for the 0.6 ounces. So it's benefits, say here, it softens the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I think it does. Um, moisturizes and hydrates the skin, helps decrease the appearance of dark, tired eyes, and keeps your skin smooth and bright. So this is um, several key ingredients. The first listed is vitamin B3, which helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, caffeine is in this too, which is probably one reason why I really like it. Um, I love caffeine in my eye creams, but I don't want, like, you know, I usually don't have that in normal face moisturizers, but in eye creams, I find it very beneficial. So again, that's why I like having this separate. Uh, it gives tired looking skin a boost and decreases the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. Um, Maxitrol 3000 is a natural peptide that smooths the skin and reduces the appearance of wrinkles. And vitamin E is a powerful rejuvenating antioxidant that evens skin tone. And squalane is derived from olive oil and hydrates and soothes the skin. There is just like a ton, like way lower on the list is lavender oils. I think that's why it has a very faint lavender smell. Um, it's not overpowering. I know you don't want like an eye cream that smells like it, but if you do sniff it, which I did, that's how I noticed it, you can get a little sniff. So yeah, so that is everything I've been using. And honestly, I've been really enjoying it. I love that this is affordable cruelty-free, like all plant-based ingredients. Like there's nothing icky in here and they give back to charity. You guys know I'm all about that. So I've really enjoyed using these products. That's why I wanted to tell you guys about them. They're definitely more affordable than the other skincare products I've been using. Um, like I said, my favorite out of all of these is the Eyes Eyes Baby. Um, I like this the most. I do like the vitamin C too. Um, I know vitamin C a lot of times can be expensive. So if you're looking for something more affordable, I mean, this is the most expensive in their line. I think this is like $28 but it's definitely cheaper than the other vitamin C products I've used and recommended. So this is a good place to start. And I think all these items honestly will last a few months at a time. Like, so you'd be spending like, what, like 20 something bucks every like five months for the, or few months, I shouldn't, I didn't mean to say five, every few months. So depending on how you use it. For me, I only use two drops at a time. So I think this will last a while. Overall, I've really had a good time using this stuff. So wanted to share my thoughts and do a review. If you guys have any questions for me, um, let me know in the comments section. And also I'll leave their site down below if you want to read more about it or purchase anything. But anyways, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos like this, definitely let me know. I am a big skincare junkie these days. I love trying new things and I am so glad that I found a line that is cruelty free and all good for you ingredients and affordable. Like that is awesome. It's really hard to find like plant based cruelty free products for a good price. So anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.